guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing a makeup look with some very exciting palettes well i'm going to use one of the palettes but basically i'm going to be reviewing the bh cosmetics sweet shop collection for you guys today they released a brush set as well as six different monochrome palettes and i'm so excited to show them to you guys today I literally am so obsessed with this collection. It is the cutest thing ever. So before we get into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed down below. Make sure your post notifications are turned on so that we guys are always up to date in case you guys never want to miss a video. And give this video a thumbs up if you're excited about this collection or you're just excited to see a new video. With that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So like I mentioned, I'm going to be reviewing the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Collection. This collection released maybe like two weeks ago but it is literally the cutest thing ever so i'm so so excited about this collection as soon as i saw the kind of like clips of the um makeup like the little uh sneak peeks that they were doing with the eyeshadows i was so excited and some people were commenting that maybe it was going to be like single shadows or things like that like no one really knew what it was going to be but well i mean we knew it was going to be eyeshadows but we thought it maybe a palette maybe single shadows I didn't really think single shadows. I automatically thought maybe this is going to be an ice cream themed collection because I recognize the little snow cones. The little um, cone imprint, like the ice cream cone imprint on the shadows. So I knew it was going to be an ice cream themed makeup palette, but I didn't know it was going to be six different palettes. So it's great if you're not interested in like the whole range of shadows and you only like a select few. Maybe you like the blue palette or the pink palette. Or the orange palette there's something for every single person the first thing i picked up was this sweet shop sprinkles this is a nine piece brush set so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the brushes so the first set of brushes that we have here are one and two which are the bigger brushes you get a blush brush and then a tapered powder brush they feel super super soft and they're really small they're not really as big as like their other makeup brushes as you guys can see there's like a height difference. This is part of their like metal collection and this is the sprinkles collection. So they're not really like super long. They're a little bit smaller, but I really like them and I think they're going to be super nice. They're like a blush pink tone. They might look white on camera, but it's like a blush. It's almost like a blush pink and then it fades into a white. The next brush here is the blush brush, which is really nice. I can see it for like taking away my baking powder or maybe like setting specific areas of the face. I'm definitely gonna use it for that. And then we move on to the eye brushes. So the first brush that we have here is the flat shader brush, which just looks like this. This is the flat shader. And then we have the fluffy shader brush, which is this one right here. This is like the pinched fluffy shader. Perfect for getting right into the depth of the crease. And then we move on to the tapered blending brush, which is the number five brush, and this is what it looks like. As you guys can see, it's tapered. Then it's the large blending brush, which is a little bit larger, but perfect for blending in your transition color. It's really nice and fluffy. And then we get into the pointed crease brush, which again is really nice for just getting into the outer corner or deepening things up a bit. And then we get the detail shadow brush, which is this one right here, which I really like for cutting my crease or carving out my brows and then the angled brush which looks like this and this is perfect for gel liner or filling in your brows so now that that's out of the way we're going to move on to the next set of palettes but first i'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with the p louise base and i'll be right okay so now that my eyelids are primed i'm going to go ahead and show you guys these six palettes that are in the collection so like i mentioned it is a collection there is the brush set and there is the six different palettes and all of these are monochrome i know a lot of people feel some type of way about monochrome palettes because they feel like ColourPop or huda beauty was the first person to do it but I love monochrome palettes and I love different brands that do them so I just feel like no one's copying anyone and it's all like really good because maybe some people don't like the ColourPop formula and they can try something from BH so that's just like my little two cents but anyway this is the sugar comb palette so as you guys can see we have some sprinkles all over and then you guys get like some of the chocolate and they all smell really really good 
they smell like sweet they just smell really really good and probably that i'm on a diet is not a good thing but they do smell delicious so this is the neutral tone palette as you guys can see each one is coordinated with four mattes and four different shimmers this is the color pop palette she's really sleek and really tiny and this is the sugar comb so in case you guys haven't already seen these eyeshadows are huge they are literally huge i'm pretty sure this is like the same size as the gimme glow shadow and you guys know that they're really big so yeah these shadows are huge i didn't expect the palette to be this big but once i saw the first one that i got in the mail I did pick up one of the palettes that were sold out on the website through Ulta, so I got it first, and that's when I was like, oh god, this is big. So, yeah, this one is a different, like, I've never seen BH create shadows this large, so I was very, very impressed. By the way, each palette does retail for $18. Okay, so the next one is the Sweet Shop Pistachio Palette. The one I just showed you was the Sweet Shop Sugar Comb Palette. So this is the pistachio. This one was the one I had to pick up on Ulta because it was sold out on BH Cosmetics. I didn't buy this as soon as it released. I actually picked them up um, probably like two or three days, maybe like five days after. I'm not really sure, but I know I didn't pick up as soon as they were released. I had to wait. So yeah, by that time, the pistachio palette was already sold out. So I did have to pick it up on Ulta, but that's fine. So this is what it looks like. And it's a super pretty palette. So yeah, this is the um, four shimmers and the four uh, matte shades. So this one's really nice and pretty. It's like a very pastel, nice green. They didn't do like the traditional green. I like that they added like, well, they're all green tones, but I don't know. To me, it just looks very, very gorgeous because we never really see a lot of green eyeshadow. The next one is the Sweet Shop Orange Sorbet and... I love sorbet ice cream. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it, but it's so good. Pistachio ice cream is really, really good too. So this is the orange sorbet palette. And it is absolutely stunning. This is my favorite one out of all of them. Again, we have the four different shimmers and the four different mattes. So the next one is the cherry on top palette. This one is supposed to be like the red palette, but really it doesn't really have a red. It's more of like your pinkish, like very like corally, like in your face. I mean, it has like a burgundy, but this shade should have been red and it's like a, I mean, it's a red, but it's not as a red, like deep of a red as like sugar pill. I think it's called love plus or something like that. And then we have cotton candy, which is the pink tone palette, but it has a lot of purples to be honest. So, um, yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, it's really cute. You have, like, your pinks, more of, like, a violet, more of, like, a pastel purple. So, really cool. And then, finally, we have Bubblegum. Now, I really would have liked if they came out with, like, a, a yellow palette because instead of the sugar cone, I feel like we didn't need a neutral. We could have done, like, yellow or a different color, but it's fine. So, this is the Bubblegum palette, um, and again it's absolutely stunning this is a blue one so i've pretty much done like blues green so i really want to do something like pink but then i did the pink for the sakura palette i'm just gonna go ahead and like put them all in front of me and like switch them up and whichever one like lands in my hand i'll just end up using that one all right so i ended up just kind of mixing through them because i wanted to kind of shuffle them and not pick the same one but i'm gonna go ahead and use the bubble gum palette today so this is what it looks like. I'm going to do a little look. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and use the brushes. So yeah, let's see how this collection works. So now you guys are zoomed in and I'm going to go ahead and get started with a shade called Single Scoop. I'm going to try to use every single matte in here. So I'm going to have to actually, I might have to put Single Scoop like on my outer corner.
Okay, so now that I've added this shade called Single Scoop, I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade called Sweden, which is like more of like an indigo kind of blue. Just going to use that to kind of bring it in. And then once I've used a shade called Sweden, I'm going to go into a little bit of bubbles just to make it a little bit more blue and a little bit more light. I could have used a tapered one, so I'm just going to take a little bit of chili and use it to blend out the shade called Bubbles. And I'm going to go back into that tapered blending brush and take this shade called Single Scoop again. Just to deepen up the look a little bit. Taking a little bit more bubbles on my crease brush. Just using that to blend it out. I'm really lazy to come my crease today. So I'm just gonna try to take that tapered brush and see how they apply without an eyeshadow base, just like over top of the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the shade called Frozen and see just how well it applies to my lid. Literally, I did not expect it to be that pigmented. I would do the two for one look, and but I'm, if you guys are interested, I can just do another video using this collection. Um, but so far, like literally, I achieved that look so fast. It wasn't hard to work with those shadows at all. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same steps to the other eye, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so now that I'm done with the eyes, I went ahead and just cleaned up any fallout I may have had on my face with some micellar water. I did have some fallout, but it wasn't anything bad. I mean, it's just like typical. Um, I didn't tap off my brush and, you know, it was like blending and stuff. If you do your base first, then, you know, you might have to be careful. But since I always do my eyes first, it's not really that big of a deal. So, um, the formula was really great. And it wasn't like an excessive amount of fallout either. It was pretty minimal, so I was really impressed with that. It was only when I was like blending it or tapping on the pigment that I experienced fallout underneath my eyes but as far as like on the actual palette there wasn't a lot of follow I'm gonna go ahead and apply the it cosmetics cream because I'm almost out of it and I've been meaning to finish it so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face by the way I did purchase the Fenty skin products so there was a sunscreen um i forgot the names of them there's this uh, fat water which is like an essence it's like a toner and then the cleanser so i did go ahead and purchase it today since it was early access i'm filming this on the 29th so whenever you guys do see that video i'm planning on doing like a review on it but i have to try it out first but there are some people that have complained about the fragrance personally i can tolerate fragrance my skin can tolerate fragrance but i don't personally like it in my skincare but i did want to try it out because i've heard amazing amazing things from the people that did get it early so i just really want to try it out whenever i do receive it i definitely will make a video on it um at least like once i've tried it out because I definitely want to see if it improves my skin. My skin's been going through it, girl. So the next thing that I'm going to be applying is the um, La Base Pro Base Makeup Perfecting Makeup Primer from Lancome. Just It's like a silicone primer. So I'm just going to be putting that on to smooth. And silicone will always like maneuver this little area like where I have the base 
I've also been kind of intrigued to try out the Kat Von D um, Shake It Primer, but I've heard great things about it, but I just don't know how it would work with like cleaning up my brows and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply foundation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on the back of my hand and then just put it on my face. I hope I don't stain my shirt. So um you know I'm pretty sure you guys have told like have seen maybe not because a lot of you guys have like discovered me through watching my eyeshadow collection videos and it's very rare that in my eyeshadow collection videos you can actually like see me because I pretty much always just start off the video with like you know um just seeing my eyeshadow palettes but since having my son I have gained a lot of weight um and it's not really typical for me to gain weight, um, I mean I've always, like I've never really had like a flat tummy, but I've always had like left handles and stuff, but I wouldn't really go too far for my weight, even if I really ate like super unhealthy. So after having my son, I did gain a lot of weight. Um, I pretty much weighed like 160 during my pregnancy, and then, um... I went down like maybe 140, 145, and then once I got on my birth control, unfortunately, I gained way too much weight. So yeah, the birth control for me that I personally use, and I don't want to say that like I'm against birth control because I'm definitely not, um, but personally for me, um, this is just my experience, so take it with a grain of salt because we're not all the same and we all have different body types. And experiences but I ended up getting a uh, vaccine that was my method of breast control that went into like almost my rib cage was well, kind of like my belly um, but basically they just injected me like every two to three months and that would be it but as soon as I kind of started seeing the amount of weight and my clothes weren't really fitting the same, which honestly, once you have a kid, it's very rare that your clothes will fit the same. Um, some women are very, you know, gifted and like, they just go back to their original weight, but that's not the case for everyone. And I feel like it's almost like normalized that like you have to snap back after you, you know, became pregnant and it's not always the case. A lot of women do struggle with postpartum depression and things like that. So, you know, it's kind of just like not everyone can just like focus on getting back their body. Um, I really just wanted to spend time with my son and get him on a sleeping schedule because I had to go back to work. So I didn't really focus too much on like eating healthy. I would just eat what was convenient and the easiest thing to find, which wasn't always the healthiest. So um, yeah, I did gain a lot of weight. I am like maybe more than what I originally weighed when I was pregnant, which is insane to me, but that's just how the cookie crumbles and I'm accepting it every single day that if I want to, that, you know, like it's fine and like it, i'm not going to force anything but i'm also going to take my health and like what i eat more seriously i've given myself enough of a break and i feel like i it's time to just like get on that road already so i am starting uh to eat a lot more balanced like meals um i haven't gone to the grocery store but i definitely do want to pick up like more veggies and like more fruits that I can eat so that way I'm not like constantly wanting to order McDonald's and stuff like that um because obviously like that's not healthy and it also makes me feel really crappy once I finish eating it because you know like it just like messes with my stomach or I feel like really bloated so I'm just trying to take the initial steps to like getting myself back to a healthy weight um, and going from there. So like I said, I don't think it's like a bad thing if, you know, um, people don't want to lose weight and they just, or maybe they can't like, 
I'm not forcing anyone to look at themselves differently. It's just like for my self-esteem and from what I want and to make me feel better, it's something I have to do. So I definitely have been feeling a little bit more motivated since for a long time. And I still feel that same way now, but I did go ahead and buy some clothes and I haven't bought clothes in like forever. I don't even look at clothes when I go to the store because I just don't like looking at clothes because it reminds me that I'm not the body type or the weight that I want to be. So yeah, um, the other day I was just so misguided. I saw some bodysuits that I thought were really cute and I ended up going to, and I ended up ordering some bodysuits from them and I'm actually wearing them in today's video. Um, so I've actually already placed another order and I wanna just try the clothes out, but I definitely will do a haul for you guys. And I'm trying to see if the diet that I'm trying to do, which is not really like a diet, um, it's just me trying to like watch what I eat and giving myself cheat days, like only cheat days on like the weekends, but still watching what I eat. Um, but still like really trying to eat foods that will give me energy and not make me feel like really bad or bloat me or have actually um i think the last day that i drank soda was monday and today's my second day I'm trying to do like keto but keto is like you have to put your body into ketosis for it to burn the fat um and like i said that's why i want to really um go grocery shopping because i don't have everything that i want and i don't want to give in to like my cravings too much but i have been doing i want to say like a good job um i'm not doing everything perfect yet but this is just the beginning of my journey so yeah i just thought i'd mention that since um no one's really ever like talked to me about it i mean only people that like know me in real life would probably tell me that like I've gained weight, but you know, I'm just like, I'll lose that, so don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so now I'm gonna be going into my Winnowald contour stick. I used the ColourPop uh, hydrating concealer, and I also went into a little bit of the, what's it called? Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So now I'm just gonna do that so yeah i mainly just want to get my stomach to be like around the size that it was if not just like a little bit like just a little bit smaller i want it to be more flat and i definitely want to lose the chin because my face was not this unshaped before but yeah um i'm honestly really excited i hope i can do it because I've never had to that before. I mean, I've tried to eat healthy before, but I always kind of gave up, so. I'm trying not to give up now. And, just using my foundation brush to blend out my contour. So now that I'm finished with that, um, gonna go ahead and set i do want to give every single brush a chance like from the collection to perform so i'm just gonna go ahead and make sure i don't have any creasing and then taking just a little bit of my sponge just pressing it into like the very fine lines but once i do that i'm gonna go ahead and go into this brush the um taper brush and just set underneath of my eyes and just like my cream contour and everything and actually I have been um, just like watching for some odd reason actually I've really always been a fan of the Twilight movies I didn't ever watch Twilight like when it first first came out 
Um, I discovered it like a couple years after, but it was still like a thing, like all the movies were coming out. So um, yeah, I was a big fan of Twilight. I mean, I'm still a big fan of the movies, but personally I was more of a fan of like, um, not the original so much. I like the like going into more depth of the movies because like we actually get to meet like the other characters so yeah i've just been watching a lot of movies lately from them i'm i've watched twilight i think i watched twilight on saturday or sunday and then um saturday or sunday and now i'm i finished the clips like last night i finished Breaking Dawn Part 1, and I have to finish Breaking Dawn Part 2, so. Okay, so now that I've set my face, I'm going to go ahead and use this powder brush. This one is the blush brush, and I'm going to go ahead and use it for blush. But actually, never mind. I'm going to go ahead and use it for my bronzer today. This is a new bronzer I picked up. This is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. I saw this on TikTok. Someone said it was a dupe for the chocolate so lay bronzer so i'm just gonna go ahead and pick some up on my brush and use that to set it smells really really good by the way it smells super super good so i just want to see how it applies to the skin it smells really really good it smells like cookies what i'm not supposed to be having I don't, all my makeup smells like that i definitely want to pick up like a waist trainer thing so now that i bronzed my face i'm gonna go ahead and take my blush brush and just go into some blush so i'm gonna go ahead and just use that same blush that i've been using from when and wild i'm just gonna take a little bit of these two blushes I said a little bit and then I pick up a lot and then I forget that this blush is like super intense. So once I'm done with the blush, I'm going to go ahead and finish off my lower lash line. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this shade single scoop and blend it out with probably bubbles. So I'm going to take the shade called single scoop and just run it underneath of my lower lash line just like I don't want to go too far in okay and then just taking some of bubbles I'm just gonna use that to blend it into like my inner corner I'm not sure what highlighter I want to use today um, I'm just going to go ahead and use this one I haven't used this one this is from Juvia's Place this is the highlighter in volume 3 I'm just gonna add some of it to my nose highlighter. Just gonna add some to the inner corner. And then taking my Makeup Shack brush. This is actually like a taper brush, but I just really like it for So I'm going to go ahead and apply my false lashes and once I apply my false lashes, I will be right back to show you guys the lip. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be taking the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. I'm just going to be aligning my lips. 
I don't know how deep this gloss is gonna be, but this is a Jouer lip gloss in the shade called Fifth Avenue. It's actually not that bad. And then I'm just gonna be applying some of that Essence mascara on my bottom lashes. Alright guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. As far as my final thoughts on the palette that I used, which again was the Bubblegum Palette from BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Collection, I really enjoyed it. I think that the shades applied really nicely onto the lid. I didn't really struggle to blend them and they were all really pigmented and again I used five out of the eight shades so it's not bad at all i really loved the pigment that i used on my lid i think that it's absolutely beautiful not only that but i didn't expect for it to be so pigmented and grip onto my eyes so much i usually see that a lot of shimmers struggle but these shimmers are really really beautiful so i definitely recommend them and yeah it's just like a gorgeous look i really like it so i'm sure you can do the exact same thing that i did on my eyes today with whatever palette you choose to get if you decide to pick up this collection and as far as the brushes i really like them as well of course if you've already you know you already have a lot of brushes maybe this isn't like you know essential but for me i really loved the sprinkles on them so i thought that it was really cute and i really wanted to pick them up and they applied everything really really nicely onto my skin the, for the bronzer the only brushes i didn't really get to use that much were the large blending brush um the angled brush and the detailed brush um i totally forgot about these but this one could even work for highlighter and then these could work for like the inner corner and i could have also used this one to pack on shades underneath my lid but i totally forgot so i'm sorry about that each palette does retail for 18 dollars you can buy them on ulta.com or you can buy them on bh cosmetics website bh cosmetics you can use an affiliate code 10 percent off and on ulta.com you can use the coupon unless you got one of those coupons that like take $15 off. That's a great deal. So yeah, or you can use a $3.50 coupon. I didn't get that $15 one because I'm always shopping at Ulta and they know I always, I don't need that miss me coupon. So yeah, because it was only like if you haven't purchased in a while that they're like, well, we miss you. Come shop. Here's $15 off. I shop there all the time. I should have gotten one. But... That is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found this video helpful. If you guys did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below to my channel. And also make sure to turn on your post notifications if you guys want to stay tuned for every single video upload of mine. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.